Well, the Kenya Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee has today formally received a draft of the Boresha Katiba Referendum Bill spearheaded by a section of Jubilee members of Parliament. Now, the initiative recommends, among other issues, the amendment of the Constitution to list corruption as a capital offence punishable by death. Now, Skatian's Moremi Mwangi now reports the committee has also extended an opportunity to the Cod Coalition to revive their Okoa Kenya referendum push. Barely three weeks after the IEBC choked Cod's Okoa Kenya referendum drive, you know, I'd requested your clerk that. Uh... TRT MP Asman Kamama has formally unleashed the Boresha Katiba referendum draft before Parliament's Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee with an offer to the court brigade to revive their flopped Okoa Kenya drive by adding their referendum issues to the Boresha Katiba draft. That quite a number of what we are proposing are not really far from Okoa Kenya. So, so we welcome Okoa Kenya on board and um, anytime when they are ready we can always uh, meet together. During the sitting, the committee disclosed that the Okoa Kenya team and the proponents of the Pesa Machinani Drive have not yet presented their drafts, despite requests by the commission for them to do so. This formula to reduce the current constituencies from 290 uh, to, to a certain number that's manageable is to go back to our former constituencies. And that is 210. Yes, we do need to reduce the expenditure of the legislature and all that but uh, how to implement it some are not implementable but with the opposition coalition still mum on whether they have plans to revive the okoa kenya drive and the pesa machinani push yet to take shape the committee is now questioning whether all the proponents of the amendment of the 2010 constitution are seriously committed to their initiatives the forums are always held during elections so let us do it during elections for the coming elections so that it is a 70 question and that way we shall not polarize the country and everybody will be talking like a kenyan i think we could improve it because i believe also we are not just nominating women and then next time they get lost i think if they are elected to deal with the affirmative action action question the seven women reps are they necessary yeah? we represent women as much as the uh, uh, you know we, where, where i come from we represent women eh? I come from Katanga. Hold on, hold on. No, here we are contributing. Yeah. Now the court brigade has been quiet in the past few weeks regarding their plans to revive the Okoa Kenya referendum push. And with barely 16 months to the August 2017 polls, Kenyans are now asking questions regarding the seriousness of the various political players to amend the country's 2010 constitution. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.